You guys might want to get one of these things too. I'm going to do a little honey dipping. <laughs> but let me begin by saying, she says, do you want to wear a hat? I said, no, I don't want to wear a hat. And she says, no, wear a hat. Pressure washer isn't working, so we're going to Home Depot to get another one. So when you put on these gloves, it makes you feel a little bit like a muppet. John and I are heading back to Utah in a few days, so it's time to get the van cleaned up inside and out. And I've got a couple of small things that have been bugging me and I wanna get those fixed too. John is going to reluctantly tell you about the tools he uses to wash the car. All begins with a bucket and a strainer at the bottom so that the crud doesn't get rewashed on top of the vehicle. A brand new Armor All ceramic car wash, it should be interesting to see how that uh, see how that works for us some great views on youtube saying it's a great thing to use and I, do you know where the link is so we can put it below maybe you'll find it i'll find it and you can put it below yeah i <laughs> uh, use a foamer uh, these are interesting because you read about how you need to do 20 to 1 or 6 to 1 or whatever the, the stuff may be they should automatically dilute that for you and this is a 20 to 1 dilution automatically it works with our pressure washer these are the various brushes i use mostly to clean the wheels uh, this is for the tires, this is for the inside the tires. And then when it's all said and done, I wipe it down with a microfiber towel. And then last but not least, on the exposed surfaces, I use something like this Quick Wax. Does that towel, will it do the whole van? Yeah, easily. Without being wrung out? Correct. Wow, that's a it lot. It does of... take a whole day to dry. Oh, the towel does? Yeah, once it's, it does, it just sucks up so much water, it's unbelievable. Okay. It's to get those high places that even a tall guy like me can't get and have this nice brush extraordinarily soft i got it at pet boys and then this is the mitt that i put inside the green bucket to wipe things down and then one of the coolest things is this water broom all sorts of tips for the pressure washer pressure washer isn't working so we're going to home depot to get another one went to three stores and finally ended up with the craftsman i think that was the easiest assembly we've ever had of a tool don't you think so john Yes. It was like five minutes. Someone is bound to ask me what this is and this is a this was a gift from a friend thank you Pam and it is really for surfers people go to the beach a lot want to hang out their towels or wetsuits or whatever to dry and it hangs over the mirror it's made by a company called I'm not I'm not sure how you pronounce it it's a Malo'o Mal, something like that because it's got one of those apostrophe O's so it's Hawaiian so that's what it is and it folds down like this so you can carry it and there you go it's kind of nice it also has a tray that goes in it so you can put this tray in there too put your keys or whatever what's the verdict on the new pressure washer you're talking to me <laughs> what's the verdict it's a little bit better than the other one okay a little good a little bit certainly easier to move don't you don't get quite as tangled as you did with the other one uh, it is me yeah that's true <laughs> right. so what are you doing Huh? All dressed up in your in your Tyvek suit. Could have put on your goggles. <laughs> you guys might want to get one of these things too. I'm gonna to do a little honey dipping. <laughs> Men, this is how your woman can look too. I'm not taking any chances with that biohazard. <laughs> <laughs> so you do get some splashback. <laughs> the RV proctologist. <laughs> I think that's good. Already says zero. 
One of the last minute tasks we have to do is to sanitize our freshwater tank, which we've actually never done before. And I called the dealer to make sure that we did it right. But um, I measured out, the, the formula is a quarter cup for every 15 gallons of holding capacity. So I've used just a little bit more than that in our tank. And so I've added it to a one gallon jug of water. So there's a quarter cup, a gallon of water, and the tank inside is half full. And then I'll use this funnel. I don't know it's the best, but I'm gonna use this funnel to put the water, the chlorinated water in. And I'm wearing my rubber boots in case I spill any bleach on my feet. So okay. you just completed, now what? Now I have to turn the water on and fill it with the uh, city water. Fill the rest of the tank so it's full. And when we're done, I'm gonna go drive around for a little while, slosh the water around, and then the RV geeks say to leave it in there four to eight hours. So we'll see. Now one of the things I did check on with the our RV dealer was whether we needed to bypass the water heater because I couldn't find any information in the manual or online, but they said we do not need to bypass the Truma water heater. We can just, as long as it's off. And I'm going to run the water through all of our systems. They say run it through your, you know, your sink, your showers, so that'll be the outside shower, the inside shower, the kitchen. So I'm just gonna run the bleach water through the line. Can I smell it? can't smell it. Just running it through the line. Okay, now I gotta do the shower. Yeah, I can kind of smell the bleach. This is getting wet. <laughs> I could. Slowing down to a trickle now. Good enough for us. Now we're gonna go fill it with fresh water. Yeah, well, we're going to fill the gray tank now with the fresh water and the black tank and go down to the beach and dump them. We caught this guy filling up his fresh water at the dump station. <laughs> Not a real smart thing. So when you put on these gloves, it makes you feel a little bit like a puppet. I'm going to flush all the tubing that goes to the different faucets. And we're draining the tank one more time. That's the whole process and I'll feel a little bit better now if we do need to drink out of our freshwater tanks. This is our clothes hamper where we keep our dirty socks and underwear. And one of the things that has bugged me about it is that when we're parked, uh, you know, kind of slanted, this will creep out like this and either get kind of stuck in the latch or just get in the way. So I'm gonna sew some Velcro on the back of the fabric here and attach the other side with adhesive and get that fixed. Here's the sewn on side. I put a tab here on this corner and a tab on this corner. And then here is the adhesive side. Uh, these are little dots, Velcro dots that I usually keep on hand and you can get them in black and white. So that should solve that problem. Next up is the stove top and this one is pretty dirty.
tried to remember to do before we head out on the road is to redo the suction cups wherever they are. I'll take them off and then stick them on again. Square bit screwdriver, Robertson screwdriver. So this bit has come off of the fabric. Okay, it's off. Much better. I don't know how long it'll last though. The curtain is done and so is this video because I have to get packed. Next week you'll see us on the road again. <laughs>